welcome back to my channel, my channel, my ch 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 my channel, ch 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 channel, bitch. I'm super excited today. Today I'm doing this look for you guys. I'm taking you guys on this roller coaster of freaking purple and pink. It's gonna be crazy. It is crazy. Look at I look snatched. What can I say? Anyways, I haven't done a makeup look in a minute, so we gonna hop back on that train. Because that's what I like to do. I like doing makeup. But I also love clothes. So best of both worlds. Anyways, this is what I'm doing today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And let's just hop straight up into it. Okay, y'all. So I don't know where I'm going with this. But we just going to jump on board. I already have all my base down. My face. Don't mind my hair. I was crucially sick yesterday. And, um... I don't feel like doing my hair right now so we just gonna jump straight up into it now that you're all zoomed in we just gonna jump straight up into it so today we are using the NYX ultimate palette this buddy I'm starting off with this one right here we're just gonna take that peach color and put it on the inside of our crease I know usually we kind of work back and forth throughout the whole craze, but today we just gonna do it this way. We gonna do something a little bit crazy today. Going in with the next one, we are going to take this color right there. We're taking the same brush, we're just going to dip into that and put it right next to the color. We're going to blend them together. Now that we have the pink all blended out, I'm going to take this, it's just a little, um, I, I want to say like a badge holder or something. You just put like your your card in it or whatever you want to use it for. It's just an empty one. It goes on like a lanyard. You know what I'm talking about? The next color I'm going to take is this one right here. I'm going to take that on the same brush. And I'm just going to line this up to make it more of like um, a straight line. Okay, now once we have our straight line, we're just going to take the two and blend them together. We're just going to go over them once again real quick just to darken everything up and make everything really pigmented and blended out. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do for the eye. I'm not sure yet. We're just adventuring it out. But I am moving on to the lower lash line. Okay, so I did all of that with this brush. This is the M573. I'm going to do the lower lash line with the E36. This smaller, more detailed brush. I am taking this teal color right there for the lower lash line. Taking this M506 to blend out the lower lash line a little bit more. Next, we're going to pop in some black liner on the waterline just to make everything real dark. And... Okay, I'm going to do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. 
let's rewind real quick because I took that blue off and we put in a little bit of purple. The blue just wasn't cutting it. It really just wasn't cutting it. So, let me show you exactly what colors I used. I used this color and a little bit of this color. I took this color right here. I put that color on the inside and mostly on the under. I took this dark purple. I put a little bit of dark purple on the outside and a little bit on like the the wing just to darken it up a wee bit so it they kind of stood out a little bit more from the pink. I took this color and this color and put it more on the inner corner and took it a little bit further down but it ended up blending the other purple shade with him and so I kind of just went all around so we got mostly purple on the lower lash line we have more of the peach color in the corner and on the top and then a little bit of purple on the wing as you can see and I love it so I think we're literally just gonna leave it as this so like I said before I popped in some black liner on the waterline I'm going to share with you the three brushes that I used. I mainly used the M573 for the whole top. I used the E36 to get detailed pretty much all on the lower lash line. And then I took the M506 to blend out the lower lash line. And that's pretty much all. I'm going to go ahead and highlight real quick everything and I will show you the final result. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. So I done highlighted and uh, did all of that. I done put on a lip. Do not mind my lips. They have never been this freaking dry in history of life. I, apparently I didn't drink enough water yesterday because I'm telling you today I woke up and they was like, Bitch, who is you? And I was like, bitch, you better get your shit in order. So, I'm on Mannequin by Jeffree Star with a just, this clear lip gloss, this LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss. It's a clear lip gloss. It don't look clear because I've been using it. But, that's what's on my lips. I have Sarcophagus, as always, Jeffree Star 24 Karat Gold. He having a sale coming up and bitch, I'm finna snatch that shit real quick off that website. Boop! Give it here. Anyways, so that's it for this video. I absolutely love how it came out. It literally looks so freaking awesome. I can't even. I've never done this, that sharp, you know, wing, if you want to call it that. Oh, I didn't even put on mascara. I'm tripping. Let me put this shit on real quick. This is the... The Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline, my go-to, because I like the wand. I like the wand a lot. One second. Okay, now that I get a little bit of mascara on, now we're all good. Now this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's definitely something a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but we making everything my comfort zone, so... Let's conquer this shit real quick. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys all, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!